Well, after a bit of a break from YouTube, I'm back and I thought I'd do a video about my AMD Hackintosh. I reinstalled Mavericks on this thing because I was having some issues and uh, I didn't really want to mess with the old install so I just said screw it and reinstalled. I won't go through the reinstall process because it was just you know normal routine thing uh, you can find a ton of videos on YouTube about it but uh, the problem I was having was with the audio and I was using one of these little USB things to uh, temporarily solve the audio problem but I don't have to use that anymore and hopefully you can hear The audio's working and there's no excessive noises or anything like that. So I'm going to switch over to the computer and I'll show you how I did it. Um, I didn't really bookmark any of the websites. Um, yeah, I'll try to link the websites if I can find them again. Uh, if not, you have to Google it like I did and you should be able to find it. It was fairly easy. So. Anyway, I'm going to switch over to the computer, and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, so I had some technical difficulties with my uh, screen cap software, so I'm going to have to do this with the camera all the way through. It's not really a big deal because there's nothing overly complicated that I have to show you, so I'm just going to... Like I said, do this with the camera, and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to follow it, no problem. So, the basic idea here is that we need to find a text that'll work properly for our audio. So, as you can see, and I showed you before, my audio is actually working, and when I had my uh, previous install on this computer of Mavericks, the audio actually did work. It wasn't grayed out or anything. It it just didn't work. Like there was no sound. Just a bunch of uh, static and crackling and stuff like that. So uh, that text I actually lost. I'm not exactly sure where it went, but I went online and I found another one that works better than the one I had before. So that's actually not a bad thing. So what you'll have to do is find a Kex that works, whether it's one in MultiBeast or um, another program. If you have a distro, maybe there's a Kex in there that'll work. So, so yeah, find a Kex that'll work, and uh, you should be good to go. Uh, the second part of uh, this fix is um, something called no PCI equals and that's just a just a folder with a few kecks in it so there's four four different um, kecks in here um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of modifications the person did to these to make this work but I don't really care to tell you the truth I'm willing to take a chance to have my audio working so if you're not willing then you may as well just stop right now and, uh, and uh, you know, find another way. Because I, I can't take any responsibility for anything. Because this is, like I said, not my fix. It's somebody else's. I just found it on, uh, on a forum and downloaded it. So, anyway, enough said about that. Just take these four cacks. Uh, drag them to your desktop. I'm not going to do it because I've already done this. Um, find yourself a Kex uh, install utility. So I have one here. It's called Kex Beast. This is the one I always use, but there's a whole bunch of other ones. So just find one that you like and uh, use it. Uh, so all you have to do is follow the prompts and just one little warning, um, if you uh, have other CACs on your desktop, 
get rid of them if you don't want to reinstall them so um, so yeah just do that drag the Cax onto your desktop uh, use your Cax Beast or whatever to install those and then go to your uh, disk utility and find your partition where you have uh, Mavericks installed and repair permissions just just in case you probably don't have to do that but I did it anyway it doesn't hurt anything so uh, the next thing you need to do is go to system preferences and down here after you reinstall all this stuff I restarted my computer just just as a side note just to make sure that it was going to boot properly and uh, it did I didn't have to put in any uh, boot flags which I had to do before so this kind of solved a couple of problems so anyway you should have uh, Voodoo HDA uh, settings here so just click on that and when you first install this fix you're probably gonna still hear a bunch of static like I did so I don't know if you can hear that but yeah there's a lot of static mine was set to about probably 80 percent or something like that so you just have to come into these uh, settings and go down the list and find input gain and put it all the way down to zero and then you should be good to go um, there is a fix for uh, saving those settings for some reason the settings don't save when you turn off or restart your computer so you're gonna have to probably google that right at the moment I don't care I have the audio working so I just go in and manually turn that down but um, there is a terminal command that you can use to fix that so that the settings save when you turn your computer on so I'll probably find that later and do it but um, all you have to do is google it I'm sure that there's a ton of websites that have that fix so so like I said I'm not going to do that right now I just wanted to show how to get the audio working so anyway that's pretty much it I don't think I missed anything uh, it sucks I couldn't use the screen cap because I I got myself a, a new microphone and it's the blue snowball so I wanted to test that out but anyway We'll uh, have to frig with that and find a solution for that later, but...